Okay, so I want to just make a real quick video explaining the operation of the throttle body on the Toyota pickup. Uh, this is off of a 22 RE. I was having idle surging problems. At first, I couldn't really figure out what was going on, but after examining this, taking it all apart, I want to pass along what I learned. So if you're having idling problems, it basically means the motor's getting too much air when it shouldn't be getting air. Now the most important thing to understand about the operation of this guy is that the only way the motor can get air is either when you step on the gas and open this throttle plate or it's got to get air through one of these holes. Now when you first look at it, it's very confusing because there's so many holes and hoses and things but it's actually very simple. First of all all this stuff up here it relates to when air is rushing through here when the throttle plates open so at idle you can kind of ignore all of this side and that leaves just two passageways that you have to understand and those two passageways allow the motor to get air when that throttle plate is closed one of them is right there and the other one is right there now the other good news is that not only are there only two ways that the motor can get air, but one of them you have complete control over. The first passageway I showed you goes here, and that's the idle control, uh, idle adjustment screw. Now this is missing its O-ring, but basically the way this works is if you thread it all the way in, it seats and blocks off this passageway. This passageway lets air go in that little hole snake around here, come out this hole right here, and get into the motor. Now, if you adjust your idle screw all the way down and it doesn't seem to have any impact, that means the motor is getting air through the only other means possible, which is this hole right here. And if you trace that hole, you can see it comes through here, comes in here, jumps over here, and that guy runs right there. So that's the only other way the motor can get air into it. So then how is this passageway controlled? Well, it's controlled right here with the idle control valve. Or the idle air control valve, as some people call it, I think. So the way this works is it bolts to the bottom of the throttle body. And you can see it has two coolant lines. It's got a coolant passage and an air passage. Now this air passage is what meters air through here or completely blocks it off. This coolant passage is to heat things up, but most importantly is to operate a little valve that's buried down in here. And you can see it right there, that little brass guy with the pin in it. Now when this gets hot from coolant circulating around it through these two hoses, that pin expands up about a quarter inch or so. And what that does, is it presses on the bottom of this spring assembly and this spring assembly threads down in here the bottom of this sits on top of that pin and when the motor's cold you adjust it so that a little amount of air can get past that cone in there by threading this guy down into the housing but when that pin expands it's supposed to block off airflow just like that shutting down that cold kind of circuit and that circuits to let you know when you start the car and the idle goes up when it's cold to 2000 and as the car heats up it it backs down that's this valve that's this valve closing this airflow right here and you can see air comes up through that little cone and loops down around across here across here so it lets it go in the bottom and then out the back. So if you're having problems with the car idling cor correctly, and you've already adjusted this down, or the you know the idle adjustment screw is when it's all the way run in is having no impact whatsoever, and your O-ring is okay, then it's got to be this guy right here, and it's got to be that pin is not lifting up and properly sealing off that air channel, and if that's happening. Generally speaking, the reason is, is that you have no hot coolant flowing around here. That means you've got a blockage somewhere in these little holes or in the hoses that run to this. 
and that's not letting hot coolant circulate around here and shutting off this little area when the car warms up. So, if you're trying to understand how this works, and it seems confusing, just remember you can ignore all this, and if this is having no impact, it means the car is getting air through this bottom uh, assembly, and that, and once the car warms up, this should shut down that whole circuit and not let any air go through here, and the only air should be here, which you're adjusting up or down for the idle. So if you, if you can't adjust your idle or it's surging or the car's too, seeing too much air going into it, chances are something's gone haywire here with this, with this pin rising up or this little guy might be stuck or something in there corroded up. So like I say, only two ways air can get in. The one you have control over and the one this guy has control over. So that will hopefully set you on the right path to diagnosing your idling problems with your uh, 22RE and maybe give you a little bit better understanding of how this throttle body functions when it's cold versus hot and why the um, coolant passages are such an important uh, issue on the bottom of this throttle body. So, all right, if you have any questions or anything, as always, feel free to use the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit thumbs up if this video has been of help to you. And uh, again, thank you for watching.